So, it's been a long, long, long time since I've done a movie review. I've seen so many things lately, too. Um, I'm trying to think of all the things I've seen. I've seen a lot. I've seen most everything that's in the theater right now. More recently, though, I did see Transformers. And Transformers was really, really good. What was really good about it, though? Outside of the fact that I was emotionally attached to the alien robot, um, I think that I was also attached to Mark Wahlberg because he's Marky Mark and he's still kind of sexy and kind of he could still get it because I saw what he was working with in Boogie Nights and I don't know if that was like a prop. But I'm willing to find out. <laughs> hey! Amen, amen. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, my God, my God. <laughs> oh, back down memory lane. Um, anyway, so Mark Wellborn is Wall Bill, Wall Burger, Wall whatever, is in um, Transformers. And, um, you know, what I don't understand is, how come nobody's ever scared that there's like a hundred foot monster car crushing people stomping giants in your neighborhood? Like everybody's just like nobody moves until they start flicking and going off. That's when people start scattering and running. I don't get that. But of course there's an evil villain and you know humans don't get it and why don't you you're so arrogant human beings. And, and then, like, the movie talks about how um, the Transformers were made by somebody else and that's, or something else, some other entity, and those entities want them back and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, so, oh, are they saying God is evil and making scary monsters to hurt people? I don't know what's going on in this movie. Let me just say that. Uh, I said it's a good movie, and it's 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 good. It's loud as hell. Either it's loud as hell, or I'm turning into my mother. One of the two. But that movie was loud as hell. I almost had. You know, I'm gonna tell you why I didn't do this interview, and I'm only doing this interview for Christian. Christian, because I love you. But had I done the interview when I saw the movie, I would have had to do it like this at the top of my voice <laughs> because it was just that freaking loud. I I. I, I, what, and this was, this is what was funny to me. You know, when some kids was just raised in church, I'm going to tell you how you, how you can identify how some kids is raised in Koji church. Cause I was raised in Koji church when you can sleep through that kind of noise. It was some, cause the, the movie is three hours long. It's the Titanic with robots. And I'm telling you, when we got up to leave the theater, all the little kids were asleep. Furthermore, let me address that. Parents, I know that the movie's Transformers, and when you were a child, Transformers was something that you watched in cartoons on TV. But honestly, can you please check, check the, 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 the rating on these movies? I ain't never seen so many scared kids in my life. These kids was climbing over seats, jumping in their fathers and mothers' laps. And then we, I sat, we sat, literally sat in between two sets of two different children. So on one side, and I said children's, yes, I know children is plural, but I put an S on it. Let me be. So on one side was this uh, this guy with his son, and he had about four or five kids on the front row, because we sitting on the second row. Four or five kids on the front row. And he just had one little kid that when the first scary thing came on, <laughs> hey, that little boy got up and said, <laughs> I just want to come check on you, Dad. <laughs> that's funny so he came back and gave his dad a hug and a kiss just to make sure his dad was alright but that little boy the scarier the movie got the louder the movie got the more the little boy came back after a while he just came, he just came back and just went to sleep trick all of this noise I, 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 let me just go on to sleep and then on the other side of us was this Ar Armenian woman with her her granddaughter who apparently can't understand shit. 
She had to explain the whole damn movie to her. Grandma, what's happening now? Well, this is when so-and-so and so-and-so. Well, why are they doing that? Well, this is blah, 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 blah. Bitch, do you need an interpreter for everything? I couldn't take it. I, honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't. I, 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 I couldn't take it. I couldn't take all of that talking. Grandma, then what did they say? Grandma, what did... And then the girl got up and went to the bathroom. Oh, Lord. I was regret. I thought she had left the movie. I thought, oh, phew. Phew. Interpretations are done. Take your monkey ass on home. It's past your bedtime. Pass, go, go straight to jail, go to bed. But no, she just went to the bathroom. Lord, she probably ran him off in the bathroom. Is this tissue paper? What kind of tissue paper is this? Is this paper towel? Do the water come on automatically? What is this fan for? How come the glass is here? Is this a mirror? Does the door open? I couldn't take the hussy. Shut the hell up, you little heifer. Oh. But she came right back in. She was quiet for two seconds. Then, Grandma, what did I miss? Oh, my God. The past 15 minutes of complete silence. That's what she missed. Shut the hell up. Anyway, so I went to go see, um, I went to go see Transformers, and uh, it was, it was pretty good. It's loud as hell, but I must say, it was pretty good. So for all those, those Michael Gibsons of the world, those, those nephews, my nephews, those Christians, all those who have been looking for me to do a video, here it is, y'all. Here it is. Okay? Here it is. Shit.